I asked my mother, what should I be? Should I be England? Should I be Belgium? It's what she said to me. Be Germany. Well, that kills it pretty quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> Welcome to very... No, I'm doing this. I'm opening. Ah! Welcome to Very Biased Opinions. Before I say anything else, thank you for liking, subscribing, criticizing, thumb-upping, and every other thing you've done. We really genuinely appreciate Take it. Take the thumb-upping. <laughs> Sometimes we believe it was two. <laughs> no, genuinely, we really appreciate it, and I'm really bad at being the one to tell you guys that, so... The bottom of our hearts, thank you very much. Um, today, Group G. Yes! World Cup. The yes! most important group because it has Panama and Tunisia in yes. it. Yes! And also two also rands called Belgium and England. Um, but the last one? <laughs> we jest, of course. We jest. Um, so the potential World Cup winners are in this group, which are obviously England. Uh, we are going to talk about them last. Uh, so we are going to crack on and talk about Belgium. Right, tell me some things about Belgium. Okay. Belgium are, this is the golden, the golden generation. It makes sense. It's golden. Um, they won their qualifying group. Uh, Roberto Martinez, I think, surprisingly got the job. If they win, do they call them called the platinum generation? Because I always think platinum's above gold. It is above gold. So they'll become platinum. Yeah. Well, they might. They might do. Sorry, yeah. Roberto Maybe the diamond generation. <laughs> the diamond. The diamond, platinum, and gold generation. <laughs> Collection. <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry. Roberto Martinez is the manager, somehow. They're a quality side. They, they are, are a they quality are side. They've got unbelievable talent all over the pitch. They've had some injuries to key players, yet they still remain quality. Yep. Company's just gone down and looks like he's going to miss the World Cup. Oh, God. Not surprised he's always injured. He did have um, a solid season there for once. Yeah. Thomas Vermaelen's always got fitness issues. He's struggled yep. this season. Um, no, I didn't know this, but my brother lives in Belgium. Well, I did know my brother lives in Belgium, but um, I didn't know I this about him. But... Uh, Nangalan is a, is a missed out on the squad. Oh, really? Apparently that caused quite a lot of contention over there. Courtois, yeah. Aldevarel, yeah. Tongan, yeah. Hazard, Debrunner, um, Lukaku and Mertens. Just an outstanding group of players and there are other players in reserve as well you could name. Um, they should be winning it unless they have a result like against Wales in the Euros. Unless Roberto Martinez coaches them. To defend like every team he's ever coached. Well, that, no offense, Roberto, it just never works out for you, mate. I mean, th this is in, in, put it into some perspective. How in, when England played in two thousand and six, I thoroughly expected them to at least get to the semi finals yeah. with the team they had. Oh eight as well, truthfully. Oh eight didn't qualify, but two thousand and ten. Yeah, no, they shouldn't um, qualify in the yeah, first they place. Qualify. And so, oh, four. it's very easy for this golden generation to come oh, and go, two. as England know. And Belgium haven't, and haven't set the world alight with this Jordan generation 98. Yet. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm stuck in the past. Anyway, on to Panama. If only we had some Panama hats. <laughs> yeah, we um, spent all our money on I, the Russian hats. I'm interested in this um, because the what do you think about a team like Panama getting to the World Cup and a team like America not getting to the World Cup? Do we really have to go there now? I'm just interested, Thomas. I mean, you do have a first hand. I'm let down, and I'm also very let down in Americans that celebrated the soccer team not getting there because it's soccer and they don't care. Ooh. I'm a bit, a bit sad. Do, do you think that, and I'm sorry for Panama fans that we're talking about America in this section, but do you think the American team is going backwards or moving forward? Uh, backwards. Really? Well, I think not qualifying for a World Cup. Well, yeah, but since then it's been a, a year. So do you think they've turned improvements since then, or no? No. Well, I don't know. I don't. You don't follow it as much. I don't follow it as much, but I also just don't. I mean, they seem to think that they're going to do it their way, and I'm not saying that you have to do it the German way or the Spanish way or whatever. But after a while, you have to accept that this isn't your first sport, and maybe the genius of it, the people who know what they're doing, are from afar, and that the best way of doing it is not just being the fittest country. But what do I know? Um, I don't know. I, I, don't was know. Really I, don't you, I was really hoping you'd tell me I knew something. <laughs> he knows a lot. <laughs> right, come on, um, Panama, with our favourite player. So when they qualified, this is their first ever, uh, World Cup, they actually, the president gave them a national holiday. That's amazing. For that, fantastic. 
Um, Hernan Dario Gomez is their manager. They play a defensive style. Um, a guy we got a sticker of and made fun of is one of their key men. Luis Tejada. Um, we thought it was very funny to make fun of how he looked. Um, and then we found out that he scored over nearly 200 goals and 43 goals for his country. So that's going to bite us in the ass when England play bad. We also realised that we hate it when people make fun of us for how we look. So. <laughs> yeah. um, be that in large, oh, it's hard to see them not being the whipping boys of the group. Yes, I see them picking up very few points. But now, speaking of nicknames, I would like you to tell me about the Eagles of Carthage. Oh my lord, when I saw that name, I thought, <laughs> like, Game of Thrones episode. Um, <laughs> Tunisia! So we're talking about Tunisia. Uh, they won, not England. Not England. <laughs> um, they won um, their Africa Group A by uh, being unbeaten through their qualifying section. Yeah. Uh, Nabili Malahu is their coach. The third point is just going to annoy me. It's going to set similar thing, you might hear previous thing. They play defensively and they don't score many goals. Uh, oh god. A, a, a Wahhabi Kazari, wow. once of Sunderland, is one of their notable players. Sunderland fans will probably think, why the hell didn't you mention him? He was probably garbage for them. Yeah. Um, and they got another guy, Yusuf Ma- Maschini, who is out injured. And um, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot more to say about no, them. No, there's not really. Uh, they're realistically playing for third, along with Panama. And now, a chance well, to talk about the World Cup champions of 2018. Tom is desperately searching for England on my notes, but I haven't actually bothered putting There's no in, notes! Because I thought if one team we could do without notes, it would be England. We both know I don't know what I'm um, talking about, ever! England qualified as hosts. <laughs> Their star man up front, Romelu Lukaku. Uh, I think you, uh, if you've seen other videos, you know kind of what we feel about England. Um, yeah. They, maybe not the strongest side we've ever had, but I still think we're a pretty decent side. We're not expected to win it. I would be happy with quarterfinals. You know what I'm unhappy with? Ian's been like the eternal optimist for about six months now, mm-hmm. going, I'm starting to feel this. I was not feeling this. I have not been feeling this. But with quite literally, and not to date this, but about a week to go until the World Cup, I am giddy with excitement. Yeah, giddy. I, I, I am too. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they go. And, and mainly because every time they play, they do impress me. I did see us doing two things here. And despite the accent, we are referring to me as being English for this World Cup, because I am English. So, right, I can see one of two things happening. We either come first in the group, don't even start. I will draw all over your face <laughs> the next was, video. The, the words, oh, it was brilliant, but the words is kind of like, oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching Very Biased Opinions. No. Um, Either, we either come above Belgium and we put in a really good World Cup, or we labour through the group, probably come second, possibly third, because, you know, it's England and we'll, the, the ball will go through Jordan Pickford's legs or something stupid. And I just think for us to have a good World Cup, we've got to come top of the group and we have to come out all, all guns blazing. And so it's... I, I, I think so too, but just to, a little, if you don't, haven't watched our England one, Harry Kane's obviously our standout player. Yeah. Um, he's who we're relying on to score the goals. Uh, we also like players like Lingard, and um, we've also got players like Raheem Sterling. Della Alley. There's a lot of pace in the side, maybe not the attacking, like the... Creative Creative. We don't have Tony Cruz, we don't have Luka Modric. We don't. They're not yeah. English. But if they were, we wouldn't pick them. Um, right, Ian. Okay. I'm getting really angry right now. Why? Well, I... Tell me! Because I want to start a war! <laughs> And with that outburst, that takes us to World Cup War Chuck. This is point one. Um, <coughs> we get a little bit aggressive um, at this point. This is where me and Tom do our predictions for the World Cup. Uh, we'll do the whole World Cup, but we're doing the group stages at the moment. Right. As they come first. In- how, how many points do you get for a win? For a win? How many points do you get for a correct score? Three. How many points for a forecast? One. And what do we win at the end? Or what does one of us win? Gorgeous win? trophy. I'm gonna pick it up. I can't help it. Oh my god! Right there. How are you not getting electric shocks riving through your body right I now? I am actually riddled with disease all the same. I hope that this image is possible. Um, right, right. You go first. Uh, Belgium versus Panama. Okay, Belgium versus Panama. I think Belgium will win three 0 I am gonna go four 0 I oh see my. them getting off with a bang. Oh my! Tunisia, England. Um, now. 
I have had a lot. Of, you're, you're going first. I know, I am. I just want to see how long it takes you. 1 0, England. What's your guess? I think this game will be really tough for England, but yeah. somehow they're going to come out winning 3 0. Oh, oh I, okay. And, I, and I, I don't know why I've been thinking about it at all. At Spartak Stadium on the June the 23rd, Belgium will play Tunisia. What do you think is happening there? I, I think Belgium will come away with a 2 1 victory. Interesting. I'm thinking 2 0 to the Belgians. Okay. England versus Panama in Nizhny Novogorod. Yeah. I, I, I shouldn't be allowed to speak on camera. What, what do you think for that one? And you I, think your Russian's good? I, I think England are run out 3 0 winners. Yeah, I'm going to put 2 0. Against Panama? Yeah. I think it would be very much like the Trinidad. And game yet you Canada. have them beating Tunisia 3 0. There's no consistency in this, man. Uh, right. There's no consistency in England. Here is the biggest game of the tournament, right here. England, Belgium, two favourites to win it. Who do you see coming out on top? I see it being, and I've said this to you before, very much like the game England played against France in 2012. 2-2. Two, two. Euros, be a 1-1 draw. England get a goal from a set piece, desperately try and hang on, but Belgium do get an equal. I'm going 2-2. Two, two. But I'll be totally honest with you, this is the sort of match where if Belgium haven't done the results leading up to this, I could see England nicking the win. It's all about how this group starts. Right, and finally, Panama, Tunisia, going out on a limb, 2-0 to the Tunisians. There are no draws in this group, except England, Belgium. Which I literally just wrote down. <laughs> I am also, I'm going to put this one down for a 1-1 one, one draw. Nice. So, in mine, I've got Belgium on top, England in second, Tunisia in third, and Panama coming out with nothing again. Well, I can't believe it, and it just shows you that we, we talk about how England aren't great, and then we just can't resist putting them top of the group. I've got England top in the group on goal difference. Goal scored, even. Uh, see, my first result, that 4-0 against Panama, and then 2-0 against Tunisia, put England over the top. Yeah. Put Belgium over the top. That's the team I was talking yeah. about. So you've got Belgium winning the group, I've got England winning the group, um, and I I think we've got one of the others. Not yeah. Well, right. I've, got, I've got Tunisia in, in third. But anyway... We need to get on. You need to get We've on. We've got one group left. Group H tomorrow, and then... The World Cup. Tell me it's the World Cup. It, it does start, yes. Yes. Group A, yes. Um, join us for the most enthralling group ever, which is Group H.